Gabby isn't a bad character. You're just probably a simp. If you haven't watched up to at least the current season in the anime, I advise you go watch that and then come back because this video is going to have spoilers in it. Not major, but still spoilers. Now with the Gabby hate, it tends to be two different levels of it. One, you're a normal person and you just don't like her because of her character, which I do understand. Or two, you don't like her because she committed a certain act on a certain character. That probably wasn't even your favorite character. Now, with these two different levels becomes two different responses. On the one side, if you don't like her because of her character, you most likely keep watching the anime and don't let it bother you because eventually you find out she becomes more interesting. Or you're on the other side and you decide to send death threats to the voice actress just because of a fictional character that she has no control over. Now, strap in and let me take you on a ride on why she's actually a pretty good character. First things first, I actually like Gabby. She's one of my favorite characters right behind Reiner. If you happen to pay attention to the new animation style, then you notice that the eyes have a darker tone to them to give the anime a more like gritty feel. So everyone tends to look a little more tired than they should, even if they're smiling. But if you pay attention a little bit more to their personalities, their actions, and just overall them, their eyes become way more powerful than it really is. And I'm gonna be using some characters as an example, which is Reiner and Aaron. Now with Reiner, as soon as you see him, you notice he has a more gritty look he looks tired to be honest i thought he was 34 but that's not true he's only 21 stress has hit him at an astronomical level when you look at his eyes you can see he's tired and he's just full of guilt and that's his main thing right now from his messy hair to his unshaven face to his posture he's exactly what you see when you're about to put in your two week notice and then there's the big main character which is aaron when you look at aaron you might think you just see rage and fuck it all but that's not true it's actually way deeper than that when you look at aaron he has has the whole face of don't tell me what to do don't give your input unless you're actually trying to help me on my path and back to Gabby when you look at her eyes the first thing you notice is determination and justice she actually believes that what she's doing is correct and from some people's standpoint she might be doing exactly what's correct but at sometimes when you look at her she actually is just spouting out exactly what she was taught she doesn't even look like she's awake or that she's a person she looks like she's on autopilot just spewing out some adult thing that was yelled at her which is actually kind of amazing with this anime that that attention to detail is crazy to me except Gabby just like her cousin is a really complex character for one she's been through a lot and she's only 12 years old she's been brainwashed since she was a baby she is exactly what the marlians want she's a product of her environment which is based off of segregation racism and war she watched her best friends die right in front of her she watched her country get clapped in a single night you know who that sounds like yeah it sounds like aaron the only difference between these two is how their environment shaped them you see aaron would have been able to grow up and do anything in his range of freedom if you know what didn't happen to him like for example in an opening scene you see him just chilling under a tree daydreaming that shows that he has a little more freedom than other people with that in mind grisha which is aaron's father his sister was murdered by a marlian officer she was eaten alive by dogs what was that heinous crime she did well she snuck out of her caged ghetto to go see a blimp yeah dangerous this is the type of environment gabby grows up in no i'm not saying that aaron had it easy not in the slightest but what i am saying is despite them having similar personalities the type of environment they were both put into turned them out completely differently. Gabby's a proud Eldian warrior candidate who doesn't even question the situation she's in and would die gladly for her country. Aaron, on the other hand, is ready to just clap everything in its sights. Which can be said about Gabby too because ever since she got to Paradise Island, she's just been trying to rack up points. But you remember that trick I told you about the eyes? Well, if you keep watching or reading the manga, then you'll notice that Gabby's eyes tend to change the longer she's in Paradise Island. The once stories that she was told from a baby that Paradise Island is full of devils and it's dangerous tend to change the more that she finds out they're just actual people and they're just trying to make a living except it comes as a huge surprise to her because that's a culture shock imagine being told by family members or higher ups people that you respect that the other side is evil and dangerous but then when you get there everyone is so nice and welcoming and want to help you she's only 12 and she has to make big life decisions right then and there I mean Reiner is 21 and he's still trying to cope with it and he wants to kill himself. But Gabby's 12 years old and she looks like she's handling it like an adult. You see, Gabby doesn't have to be your favorite character. That's not the point. But to say she's a bad character and write her off just because she killed someone is ludicrous. Mm -hmm. 